Hello there guys, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 7 The Threat Mod. This is uh, episode 14 and we're in Costa del Sol. Uh, Costa del Sol is like the chill out place to go to really. I actually kick this football about. Yeah, let's kick the ball. And if we go through here, I believe we see Hojo, but... It's not necessary for the story, so I'm just not going to bother doing it because it's a load of um, text that I cannot be asked to read out to you guys. Probably not going to bother with that. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to do in Costa del Sol. It's kind of a pointless place. Apart from you can buy a house. So there's a long, long road to Mount Coral, but before I do that, I'm going to try and recruit Yuffie. I'd help if I could see where I was freaking going. There we go. I need to configure my buttons properly. So that's the gold saucer in the distance there. So we've got a long, long way to go. Probably going to get into a fair few battles, as you would expect. Oh, I hate these things. Kill them before they spit those out. I think it might spit loads out anyway. I no. thought it might be in its AI to counter it with it. Apparently not. Might be able to kill it actually before it even gets to spit its little baby hole. Oh, it's kind of disturbing really. Nope. Never mind. So annoying. As long as I kill this one before it spits anything out. Please. I could just use the summon and finish them off, I guess. But I want to save as much MP as possible. Now, summon costs quite a lot of MP to use, so. I'm still going to be able to deal with that. That's not too bad. Come on, man. I don't remember these things having so much health. There we go. Dealt with it. Nice they have a unique, like, death animation. I don't know what that's about. Okay, so we're probably gonna level up on our way to Mount Coral. I need to find some forest. As soon as I find some forest, the better. And there isn't any forest around here, so I'm not going to be able to recruit Yuffie here, I'm afraid. It's going to have to be later on, in a later episode. Ah, oh, this bit. I remember this bit. With the train tracks. Let's talk to this guy. Phew! Hey, you're actually talking to me? I? I am. What is it? Just past the guy in a black cape back there. I just tried to tell him I was dangerous up ahead, and he ignored me. Sephiroth. There was a black caped guy here too? Hmm, I'm moving on ahead. Can you sell anything? It's dangerous up ahead, be careful on your way. If any strangers should come greet you warmly while travelling, make sure to greet them back. Ooh, I guess that's the fun of being on the road. I guess. Okay, so here comes a long, painful road. Hopefully we can get, like, out of here without having too many battles. And there's one. I'm just going to use summons, because... I haven't even got time to be wasting on petty little enemies like this. In the ideal world, I'd love to have them take them out, but not Took one of them out. Shiba! 
kind of ironic that Red uses him. For the simple fact he's like fire. He's ice. Alright, surely that's the end of it. Oh yeah, 500 damage, didn't like that. Not one bit. How can you not love Red 13? He's awesome. Clouds close to leveling up once again. But yeah, this is going to be like one of those episodes where he's just walking down the road. Doesn't, I don't think he's going to be any big enemies in this uh, episode. But I've been wrong before. I've been uh, surprised a few times in this mod, so we will see if uh, anything's been added. Well, we know that Trevor Mock and Chief will sort them out, so let's just do it. Let's just spam summons to the max because we can. <laughs> Boom. Someone was saying to me, Why have you called her Aerith? Aerith. Because originally she was called Aerith. Uh, funny enough, my version of Steam automatically put it to Aerith. Now I don't know if this has been corrected in this mod or whatever, but that's why. I've always called it Aerith and I always will call it Aerith, but it was apparently a mistranslation. But there was a lot of mis uh, mistranslations back then. I mean, this guy is uh, this guy is sick or whatever it is. Uh, it was famously bad. This guy that is sick or something like that. It was just terrible, the translation of this game. Uh, if the, a game came out like of this statue now and it was translated as badly as this, it would probably be classed as a massive flop. So. Kind of a good thing that Final Fantasy VII came out when it did because otherwise it would have just been classed as a flop of a game because of its poor translation. Alright, we can't go in there. So let's go ahead. Oh, come on, please. Wasted time or what? I'm gonna use shields. I'm gonna use shields. I'm gonna use shields. I'm gonna use shields. 32. Check them out. I'm gonna use 14 so I can deal with that. That's not a problem. Don't know if you noticed, but that background uh, for the reactor has been redone and it looks friggin' awesome. Uh, but for those asking. Oh, we've got a fat show. For those asking, I use Seventh. Is it Heaven? I think it's Seventh Heaven as my mod thing, as well as the bootleg. Like I have the main mods attached, and then I've added some as well, like the FMV mods, because I like the look of them the best. I think they look the best. I think they look the most closest to what. It would look like with a remake. Oh, right, right, this bit. I'm not sure why I'm going this way. I don't need to. What am I doing? God damn it. I am a fool. All oh, these bloody things. If I remember right, they confuse you. Oh, petrify you. Yeah, they petrify you. How annoying. If all three of us become petrified, we're dead. It's game over. Luckily, uh, Cloud seems to be immune to it. One down, one to go. But yeah, I'm sorry this is not really going to be an exciting video. 
But it's got to be done, I'm afraid. We've got to traverse through to the next part of the story. I don't think there's a boss for a while now. And that's pretty boring. I class it as boring anyway. Alright. Train tracks time. Oh, actually, I'll just use a tent here. It's probably the smartest way of going about it. Alright. So Cloud's nearly at 1k health already. That's pretty awesome. Although, I was reading about this, apparently you can exceed 9,999 health on this game. On this version. Which is crazy, you can also deal more damage than 9,999. So that's pretty awesome. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, bomb. Never a good thing. I could probably just take it out with Shiva, but screw it. I'm pretty sure it will act like ice. No, I didn't think it would. Oh, it's growing. Ow. Oh, Red's at 1k. Hooray. That's pretty awesome. Bomb blast. Are you serious? Ow! That's one way to get limit breaks, I guess. It's also one way to die incredibly fast. Jesus. Receive W machine gun. Not like it bothers me, because Barrett isn't part of my team at the moment. Pretty sure I'm meant to fall. If I fall, I can get some good items. But I just don't have time. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, fantastic. No. Cloud is not immune to it. I just got lucky before, I guess. So when I finish this one, at the rate I'm going, I'm going to be about level 35, which is crazy. I remember when I first ever played this game, I was like level, I don't know, um, I think I was about level 26. When I, when I first played this game, I just rushed right through it because I just wanted to know what happened next. So I was like level 26 when I got to the end of the first disc, which is pretty long. Nowhere near the end of it yet. Absolutely nowhere near. It's only just begun, really. I think the first disc only just begins when you leave Mika. Like, the whole thing up to that is just like the introduction to the game, which is crazy when you think about it, but it's pretty true. I hope I've gone the right way. I have. Yeah, Tifa and Barrett are waiting for me to pull this lever. Cloud, go Cloud, go! Yeah. Okay, I'll go. Oh, God damn it. Thunder kiss. Oh, that's a big song. Might not be actually. This music is just so calm. It's like... I'm fighting a battle here. Why is the music so calm? Yeah, I know there's nothing really to fret me at the moment. Let's take care of them too. 
Hopefully this takes care of this thing. Ah, not. Why do you poison me? Poison. Saving that limit break if you haven't noticed. Never know when I might need it when one of them bombs picks me off again. Alright. Cool, I've got a bomb point. That will definitely come in It's in order to get the uh, potions. I'm pretty sure there's a thing up here where you can disturb a bird's nest. Ow, sure is tightening it. Come on, Cloud. Don't let it get to you. Let's see. This is it. Maybe if I turn this, something should happen. Do it! I'm guessing that did it. And now I have to go all the way friggin' back. Jesus. Why is bronze bangles so damn good? I don't... I don't understand. It has the same slots as a mithril. It's strange. I think it's just to balance out the mod in all fairness, which is fair enough. But it's kind of strange that the first amulet that you get in the game is pretty good. Because it'll last you a while until you get to the good stuff later on. That reminds me, the next chance I get, I really need to buy some new weapons, because Aerith and Red still have their uh, weapon that they started with. For oh, sake. Okay, I think it's time to use healing now. It's definitely time to use healing now. You know what? I'm just going to use Shiva. Mark, because it's just going to take me a lot longer to wipe these out otherwise. Fall laser. Pretty sure that didn't used to do that much damage, Jesus. Diamond dust. I kind of feel like this video is just like the calm before the storm. Like, we've had the storm, you know, for Vector, which is out. Now we're having a calm, and now I think we're going to have another storm at some point. Oh, nice. As much MP as it uses, if it wipes them out in one go, I'm all for it. Nice experience for that too, actually. Quite a lot of money. Please don't get into another battle before I get off this map. Oh, fuck. Try not to swear. Whoops. Sorry about that. Grabbing my phone, my phone's going off. My mum. I ring when I finish this video. Mum's got a new phone, and she's just not great with phones. <laughs> you know how it is. So I'm like the go to person. I don't mind. I like helping them go out. Especially when it comes to something I know I'm good at, technology. So. Shiva! She looks so miserable! Cheer up! You're the fucking ice queen! Crap, I swore. Mind you, I bet you've got a hat. 
as cold as ice. Thank you. You're all weak. Alright. I'm gonna be like level 25 when I get out of this shithole. Hmm. I take no chances. Especially what after what happened uh, last time. And all the way back down. Ban freaking tastic. Here we go. I wish Cloud run faster. Oh, for crying out loud. Please. Saving that. Uh, I'm just going to hit and it. I know it's going to take him out in one go. I know it's incredibly boring to watch this. So I am going to put an annotation for when I get through this place. And back on with the main story. So don't worry. Although if you are watching this and uh, if you're watching me spam summons to the max. Hello and thanks for watching. Needs to ban summons for the match. Well, to be honest with you, I just want to keep the video length down. My last video ran way too long. I can't see anyone being sat there for an hour and 20 minutes watching my video, which is why I put an annotation straight to the word, you know, for a vector. Because that's what you guys want to see. You want to see what's new and cool about this new mod. So, I think it's going to help me, and I think it's going to help you. So, I'm not I'm guessing that hole is there. I'm gonna go down here though, because I'm pretty sure there's something down here. Which I actually missed the first time I ever played this game. Wait, hey, what? Hey, really? Ah, there we go. Well hidden this place. Mine sauce times five. Tent. That was what we got. Power source times five. It's tough to you. Hey, how would you ever wind up here? Look, I'm sorry, but I can't do a thing for you. How did you... Why Why do you live in, like, a cave? You have a truck for a bed. When there's a village literally just up the road. Must be an exile. For Christ's sake. Why does it have to be like five enemies? I'm pretty sure this is what anyone would do in my right state of mind. Spam the shit out of someone. Because it attacks all things. And it does that. Oh, they'd run away, but that's not my style. And, oh, I kind of have something to admit. I don't know how to run away uh, using my gamepad. So, yeah. Really embarrassing, that. I need to uh, configure it. Actually, let's do that real quick now. Uh, controller. Wait, what? Up. Press OK key to figure. Config. Okay. I don't understand. It won't. It won't like me. For some reason, it's not happy with. Is this where them birds are? Yep. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I dreamt it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the bridge. I love this bridge. It's like the longest bridge I've ever seen. It's also the most rocketiest bridge I've ever seen without going through. Is that a bomb? 
Indeed it is. These things explode without warning. We found this out last time. Shiva should take care of it though. I'm nearly at Coral, so it really doesn't matter that I'm using my MP. I'm pretty sure the bomb didn't grow that fast. Does it only respond to physical attacks or something? No. AI to grow every time you hit it. Well, that ain't exploding on me. Oh, that sounded really wrong. <laughs> Alright. 300 experience. It'd be easier just to run away. Come on, Cloud. Run towards the camera. Look at me! Look at me, I look like a little girl. Hmm. Alright, we're at North Coral. Oh, Barrett's been greeted. Okay, maybe not. He's just been punched. Well, looky here. Never thought I'd ever see your face again. They kick you out of another town or something? You destroy everything you touch. You got a lot of nerve coming back here. Look at this place. It's all your fault North Coral turned into a garbage heap. Why don't you say something? Or did you forget what you've done here already? I'm sorry. Shit, you ain't worth the effort. Don't waste your time talking to that techno freak. Oh, Barrett. I'm guessing he's got some history here. You have no idea. You heard him. It's my fault this town was destroyed. Where are you going? Why run off? Why not just have a sit down, have a cup of tea, and talk about this? Why do you have to run off? You know who's responsible for North Coral winding up like this. Do I? Well, I guess. Get out of the way. The only way we can make ends meet around here is by collecting junk. Please buy something. Anything will do. Alrighty then. What have we got? Uh, potion, shit, shit, and shit. I don't want any of that. What do you want? I want to buy. Buy yourself. Ooh, transform. Into a little toadies. He has come for you, but, uh... You never know when you might need something like that. If you want to survive, then you're going to need some of my weapons. Oh, have you got new weapons? You've only got one for Cloud. Which I'm going to take off your hand, of course. Oh, we got some carbon. Fire grenade. Can inflict dual. I will buy 11 of those. I need two more. Because I can. And I'm obviously going to equip fast Stealer. Which has... A lot better attack. Hmm. That's not a massive problem. Oh, shit, I completely forgot I've got it for it. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Big whoops. I'm gonna probably put it for it on the person who hasn't got anything. Two lives as well, yeah. What am I doing? And just like that, his HP drops back down. It's Aerith that hasn't got a summon. What can I get rid of? Hmm. 
You know what? I'm going to get rid of enemy skill. I just do not need it yet. I will at some point, just not yet. Okay. Sorted. On to the gold saucer. Actually. Can I leave? Yes, I can. Ten, save, gold saucer time. Music's all over the place. It's obvious why that is, though, because I'm going from place to place to place to place to place. Okay. So I'm going to set up an annotation to start it here, so... You can skip all the mumbo-jumbo, boring crumbo. That's what you want to call it. That's what I'll call it, because I can. Talk to you. No. Cut scene. How slow do you want to walk? Okay, then. Everyone's here. Barrett, what happened? Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean, used to? It ain't here no more. Heard it got buried in just four years. But how could those people say those terrible things? And it's my fault. All my fault. Skip the barret. Oh! Oh, yes! I like this mod so damn much. Shimmer troops. What for? There was an explosion at the reactor. Shimmer blamed the accident on the people. Said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible. Well, I guess that's true. But more than Shimmer, I can't forgive myself. Never should have gone along with the building of the reactor. Hey, we all make mistakes. Don't blame yourself. We were all fooled by the promises Shimmer made back then. That's why. That's why I get so pissed off. Not only did they take advantage of me, but I lost my wife, Marina, too. Hey everyone, if you want to go on the gold saucer, hurry and get on. Right down the roadway. Let's go. Let's get on. I'm going to happy, happy, happy land. Dime was my best friend. We were close ever since we were kids. Shut up and get on the tram. Basically, what I've just skipped is Barrett's backstory. I never knew. Barrett never said a thing. Red's like, hmm. Red's like, hmm. Dipper's like, hmm. We better get on. That would be a good idea. But, uh, the town got burnt to the ground. And Barrett and Dine, Dine being Barrett's best friend, was were out of town at the time, hunting, I think, or something like that. And uh, when they got back, everything was gone. Everyone was dead. And that's why he blames himself. Welcome to the Gold Sauce. Countless hours chocobo racing, fighting in the battle arena, and riding roller coasters. Yes, that really happened. Welcome! Oh, it's awesome. Funny enough, while we're on the subject for the gold saucer, I've been saying in Final Fantasy XIV, which I have actually played, that they're going to remake the Gold Saucer for their game. Now, if that doesn't key in the fact that they are thinking about remaking this game, I don't know what will. Also, the G-Bike remake is just teasing the living hell out of us. So, 
Welcome to the Gold Saucer. Welcome. Can I use a save point? Save point. Access the menu and select save to save your game. But each transaction will cost 5 GP. <laughs> no way! Stick your... Wow! Stick your save point up your ass. Can I go in? Please, buy your ticket here. Oh, crap. I might have fucked up. I just spent all my money. Welcome to the gold saucer. Are you together? Single pass is 3,000 gil. Or you can purchase a lifetime pass for 30,000 gil. Pay the 3,000. Thank you very much. If you leave gold saucer, your tickets become invalid. Here at the Gold Saucer, there are many places where you must pay with GP. Just think of GP as money that you can only use at the Gold Saucer. GP can only be redeemed at the games in Wonder Square and at its Choco races. GP limit is 10,000, so please be careful. Please enjoy yourselves. Alrighty then. Thank you. Lady. So you jump into the holes and go to that place, which is kind of pretty awesome, to be honest. I remember when I first stumbled across this place, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Some of them are kind of pointless, like the ghost square. It's just an in. Wow, let's have fun! I'm not here to have fun. I'm here to look for Sephiroth. No, this isn't the right time to do this. Then don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. It might turn around and shoot you. Hey Barrett, cheer up. I ain't in a cheery mood, so just leave me alone. Really? That's too bad. And she's running towards me. Let's go. And I think it's gonna be like, what? Wasn't that a little harsh, Harry? That normal when this happens. I think so. Of course. We're gonna go play. So play. Mess around all you want. Don't forget we're after Sephiroth. Go jump into the Wonder Square. Mad. He'll be fine. Seems to be doing a little better now. Who do I take? I wish we could just forget everything and have fun. Go together. We'd better be careful. Sephiroth might still be around. Go together. Oh, you can only take one person. You know what? Who should I go with? Let's go with Aerith since she's been in my party from the beginning. You want to go with me? No. Okay, so. Eeny, meeny, miny, mutts. Stand on my doggy's toe. If it squeals. Let it go. I don't know. Let's just jump in the first way. Whoa. Creepy. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the Ghost Hotel. <sighs> For reservations, please step up to the counter. <sighs> I'm sorry if I made you jump with that. I just couldn't resist. Oh! It's our most popular employee, Mr. Hangman. Fuck. Welcome. 5 GP a night, would you like to stay? 
No, thank you. I have no money. There's the shop, but I'm guessing they're gonna take GP. So we'll give it a miss. And we will go to Hmm, wonder. It's gonna wonder. Wonder Square. Hey you, what are you looking so down for? How about it? Want to read your fortune? A bright future, a happy future. Oh, but don't hold it against me if it doesn't come true. Oh, so sorry, I'm a fortune telling machine. The name's... Lion, son of a bitch, that's what your name is. Hmm. You can only read the future. You kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. And can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth, right. Okay, here goes. And the verdict is, ordinary luck, it will be an active fortune. Given to the goodwill of others, and something big will happen after summer. Wait, hold on. Huh? Let me try again. That was random. Careful of forgetfulness. Your lucky colour is blue? <laughs> Forget it. Wait, wait, give me another chance. Wait, let me try it again. Come on, you're wasting time, you big stuffed animal. Whatever you are, thing. What the? What? You will be yours, but you will lose something dear. I don't know if it's good or bad. That's the first time I ever got something like this. Then shall we? What are you talking about? Being a fortune teller, this is gonna bug me. If I don't see how it turns out, I'll never be able to relax, so I'm going with you. What are we going to do, Cloud? I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Hey! I really don't like kids. Probably told you at the entrance, but most of the attractions at Gold Saucer only take GP. They don't sell GP, you can only get them from the Wonder Square games or at the Chocobo races. Yep, they did tell me that at the entrance actually, but thanks for checking on that. What are you two doing? Get a friggin' room. Dirty bastards. It took me ages to realise you can jump up here when I first friggin' played this game. I hate Kate Sif so much. Wow, you're still your block yourself. You have zero GP. Exchange the GP for prizes here. What do I change? No, because I don't have any GP. You a bitch. Oh yeah, let's play the G-Bike again and go extremely fast and get killed. Snowball. Submarine. This kind of hints at every mini game that's going to be available in the game. It, it ruined it for me. I'm like, do I get to ride a snowball? Oh wow, do I get to go in the submarine? But of course, one of them's being used and the other one's out of order, so we'll never know. Right, I'm going to get on with the story because I'm going to have to end this in five minutes because the other half is back from work. And uh, 
it gets kind of intimidated when I do this one that she thinks I'm mad because I speak to myself, but we all know I'm not talking. So that would just be weird. Okay. Battle is where I want to go now. Yeah. Soldiers just died. Hmm. Dead. What? Why? Cloud, where are you going? dead. Jesus, it's a massacre. Did Sephiroth do this? No, it's not him. They're all shot. Sephiroth would never use a gun. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Someone's still alive. Maybe they can tell us what happened. Hey, what happened? Uh, uh, a man with a gun on his arm. Shit. It can't be. He's lost the plot. Hold it right there and stay quiet. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm gonna get pinned for this. I don't have a gun. Why are you wearing speedos? Did you guys do this? No, it wasn't us. Hurry and run. It's gonna get ugly. Hey! Stop them. So now we look guilty because we ran. That wasn't a smart thing to do, Kate. As far as you go. Wait, listen to Cloud. Mm. Oh crap. One more to go. Yes. Hey, pay attention. I don't need to hear it. Pay for your crime below. Do it. Yes. I'm guessing it's not a gateway to heaven. Oh, God. You alright? Where are we? A desert prison. Coral prison. A desert prison? Yep. A natural prison in the middle of the desert, surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard that once you get in, you never get out. But there was one special exception. Hey, Barrett! Do I have to talk to him? Why, why did you kill them? What are you doing? I just killed that guy too. Barrett. Did you... Stay back. This is something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. Ooh, that's one of your friends, he sure looks dangerous. Cloud, what should we do? Barrett's not his normal self. This one's been shot too. S 
save point. Oh my god. This guy's following me. He's gonna hurt me. Ooh, wow. Nice background. Okay. 145 gil was stolen. Who stole my gill? Who the hell stole my gill? Cactuars are still alive, I'm guessing. Wait, what? Did I just cast Bolt on myself? Why the hell did I do that? I suppose the best to quit Kits if we're in friggin' interior since I've got him for the long haul. Oh, got me gill back at least. So I'm guessing the cactuars are nicking gill now. Mmm. Cactuar gun. Will you fuck off? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I'll tell you one thing, Rookie. This desert is extremely dangerous. It'll welcome you in, but when you try to leave, it'll swallow you. I hear some of them never make it out. The best thing is to stay entirely out of the uh, desert. Save point access to menu. Yes! Close! Right then, guys, that is all I have time for today. I'm sorry to end the here. Uh, the next episode might be a little bit more entertaining. I've tried my best to try and spice it up a little bit, but unfortunately there isn't a boss for a while, so... Will you bugger off? So annoying. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've liked the series, let me know, because uh, I'm starting to really get upset at the fact I'm losing subscribers. I lost another two this morning. I know why it is, I addressed it in the last video and I'm probably going to have to make a video explaining to the people that have subscribed that I'm not doing just Final Fantasy 7, I'm going to be doing some FIFA at some point as well and uh, some other games as well, I've got some surprises in the pipeline, maybe some Dead Space face cam, maybe some Outlast face cam, stuff like that which I think will enhance my channel and give viewers more to see than just uh, I think it's 18 year old RPG which has been spoused up with some graphics and some and an awesome mod but yeah I'm really enjoying this game so I'm just gonna keep playing it thanks for watching guys I will see you for the next one take care